What's your name? Paddy Dunlop. Okay, do you have a fight nickname? Uh, my coach calls me Paddy the Barbie Dunlop. Paddy the Barbie. <laughs> I, I enjoyed school and I didn't. It was it was funny sometimes and like I hated it other times. When I look back at it now, I hated it. Most of the teachers were gobshite and they were just like picked on a few people and tried to take the piss out of them and left everyone else. I was one of the people who tried to take the piss out of. All the teachers just used to chat shit to you. So I remember I got Nick selling and she said to me, uh, "Why are you selling them that?" And I said, "I've got to pay me gym. No, I mean sixty quid a month. I need to pay it." She was like, what do you do? And I was like, I do MMA. What's that? Cage fighting. She was like, what? If you do cage fighting? Why do you do that, Paddy? Study on your schoolwork. You're too small for that. No point in trying to do that. Who, who would say to someone, you're not going to do that. You'll never amount to anything. You're not going to do that. Who says that to someone? Because I got told that he was never going to be a world champion. I got told that he was going to get beat in this fight and that fight. And it just doesn't happen. Because you've got to believe in, in, the, in, in what he can do and his confidence. Oh, you'd never knock anyone out, you've got no striking. I mean, people just don't believe in people, they want to bring people down. I can remember him being in trouble, you know, day to day. And I think with, with Patrick, I don't think it was anything, you know, like major. I think it was an accumulation of different incidences and, you know, sometimes he... He would have been better just to try and walk away from situations, but I don't think he was that way inclined. Adam's been being a bitch, saying it's nice, going to sub me, and what, what went down, Dom? What went down? You got, you got, you got five finger guillotine, lad. That's what went down, bitches. I think he'd be more one of them that would like to argue his point, you know, until he, he proved himself to be correct or, or incorrect, and in that case, suspended or being excluded from school. Paddy, Paddy's a very good fighter. Not better than me, but he is a good fighter. Me and Paddy, me and Paddy, right? Me and Paddy have like probably one of the best relationships in the gym. Okay, we do. Went, but we, but like it's like brothers. It's like a brother relationship. One minute you could be best mates with your brother, and the next minute you could be trying to kill him. That's what Paddy's like. I was, I was trying to be an academic in school and that, like, but never ended up working out. Then up getting kicked out and that. Went to a, a, a daft college where. They gave me the wrong exam dates and I ended up swear, like ended up missing my exams. Couldn't even do that, so I ended up just stopping going to college altogether. Training full time. Like when I left school I started training full time, but when I started college I had to take mornings off and go there and I'm just glad I don't do nothing like that no more and I haven't got a job because then it's a hundred percent this this is my job. I work here every day. The way he talks, the way he, the way he thinks about fighting. It's just his conf it's confidence, his cockiness. I just, that, 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 that wins his fights more than his skills wins in fights. He beats people before they end the cage. Uh, next opponent's called Johnny Fran Francis. So, how would you say my opponent's name, Paul? Francis? Johnny Fran Frasier. Doesn't matter what his name is anyway, does it? Uh, he's a Brazilian born Frenchman. Like I said before, it doesn't matter where you're from, what your name is, it doesn't matter, I know what I mean getting dealt with. Fuck you. <laughs> Ain't it? Fuck you. Piece of shit. Nah, nice one. You are wearing fucking... All the people chatting shit, lad. Probably wouldn't be as far as I am. I use all that shit to drive me on. And you sit there for when you're f halfway through your fucking five rounds, lad. And you've had no carbs all week and you're fucking on the bottom getting punched in the face. You think of that, that time where someone said, yeah, you're shit, or someone said, oh, you never want to get nowhere with it, or, you know what I mean? It helps you. Push with me anyway, pushes me on. I think, yeah, fuck you. I'm gonna prove you wrong.
Basically, we're going to get onto a machine and what freezes us. <laughs> You're not gonna be ready, lad. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not gonna be ready. You know, everyone thinks I'm just a grappler and that, and I'll just take you down and that, but I can take you down, I can strike with you, I can, I can wrestle you, I can be on my back, I can be on top. No matter where the fight goes, I'm, I'm in it, no matter what. And then you, you celebrate by jumping into the crowd. Who were those people that you, you celebrated with? Were they just random people? They're all, they're, yeah, they're all my mates and, uh, and, all, and other random people as well, you know what I mean? Uh, the first, I jumped over the cage at first to celebrate with my team because that's something we've been working towards for like seven years. I can, I can remember seeing my other mates over the other side and like I thought the whole arena's going nuts. I'm going to have to jump over and celebrate with them because I am one of them. We're all the same. I'm cut from the same cloth as all these people. So I just jumped over and got in there with them. The shot of you sitting on top of the cage with your arms crossed is a classic shot. Where were you running to, Paddy? Some of my mates. <laughs> <laughs> I jumped right over the cage and celebrated with my team right away, you know what I mean? Because I've been working towards that for years with them. Like, my mate, like my mates there, Ellis, Ellis Sampson, Adam Venti, and my coach Paul Rimm, you know what I mean? I've been saying every day with them for seven years. So I went over to them and then... I could remember where my mates were sitting as soon as I jumped back in the cage, so I couldn't keep still. <laughs> There's a, a song, I, I can't remember who it's by, it's one of the grime songs that Paddy listens to. And before he won the world title, he was like, that's me, that. And I think like one of the lines is like, oh, the teacher said he'd amount to nothing, and now they're asking him to do an assembly. And it's in a song, and he was saying to me, that's me, that. My school's going to ask me to do an assembly after I win that world title. And there you go. Now school's asking to go back and do an assembly. No. In any form or walk of life, opinions mean fuck all, and results matter. So you can turn around and go, I don't think Paddy will ever be a world champion. Well, Paddy's a fucking world champion now. So your opinion made no impact on him at all, but the result mattered that Paddy's a world champion. Paddy will never get in the UFC. Paddy will fucking do shit in the UFC. That's your opinion, but the only thing that will matter at the end of the day will be the result. Like I said, when I go in there, I've got tunnel vision. It's like, that's my goal. I'm set on that. I'm going to finish him. That's the way you should be with everything you just do. If you want something, set a goal on it. Yeah? and you just work hard enough and you dedicate yourself enough to it, you can do it. Anything's possible if you put your mind to it. I proved that. 
When I was your age, I was sat in the chair you were sat in, and I was about this big. I wasn't even tall, wasn't wide, wasn't nothing. You know what I mean? Just had a growth spurt and started training. Put me, put me heart and soul into what I do. Any of you do that, you can go as far as you want in anything. I got told all sorts by everyone. I started training when I was 15. Um, I was still coming to school. I can remember, I can remember getting, being in school and telling the teacher I went to the gym. And the teachers turned around to me and said, oh, what are you doing that for, Patrick? You're far too small. Um, you'll never get nowhere with that. Just leave that where it is, you're an academic. And I proved that teacher wrong now, haven't I, lad? You know what I mean? As long as you work hard and you believe in yourself, it's all that matters. It doesn't matter what anyone else has got to say about it. As long as you believe, it's that simple.